Okay, hi teachers. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about copying resources uh, from your previous courses to your current courses. Uh, we've had a lot of questions about this. So first thing you want to do uh, is go to your courses and then go to those previous courses that you want. So you're going to go to courses and then see all. And this brings me back. So here's my current courses. These are for this year. And if I want to go back to see my previous courses, uh, I can hit this archive button. And I actually have both from this past year uh, and even the year before. So what I'm going to do is uh, go into, this is like 2012 to 2013. And again, it tells me that it's an archived course. But I'm going to go into uh, the materials section. And I'm going to find some of the folders and some of the resources that I want. Um, so for instance, uh, maybe you know I'm teaching analytical writing again. Uh, and what I want to do here is I want to go and click this gear button and then go save to resources. And it's very helpful uh, before you do this if you organize your materials into folders and put them into folders. Um, but so once I do this, uh, this is fine. I'm just going to say home. It's going to be not in a folder because it's, it's already in a folder. So I don't really need it in another folder. I'm just going to save copy. All right. So and it gives me a little message that says I did that correctly. And then I'm going to go into my resources, uh, personal. And here it has uh, a number of the, the courses here that uh, a number of the, the materials that I've saved to my resources. So now, let's say I'm teaching Absolute True Diary of Part-Time Indian again. Um, I can go and hit this gear button, and then I can add it directly to a course. So I'm going to add this to a course and I can choose, and these are all, here are all my current courses uh, and I can select one or two. I can add them to a folder or I can have them sit in a normal folder. You can just see, I'm just going to click this add button and it'll take a second. And then when I go into those courses, again these are my current courses. Here that here's the materials. Okay, so that should be a pretty quick and easy way for you to uh, to copy your materials um, again to your resources and then use that to then copy them to uh, to your current courses. So if anybody has any other questions, uh, please let me know.